Galactic Commander here, and today we got a very special- Down here! Did you guys hear that? Whoa! No way! Mark's American Beauty figure? You can talk? You're really gonna review little old me? I mean, yeah, of course I'm gonna review you. That's kind of my whole shtick. I review plastic toy figures, and you're one of them. You act like I'm one of your toy army soldier men, when I'm much more than that. Listen, it's nothing personal, okay? It's just that you're a woman, I'm a liberal. This would never work out. Kiss me, you fool. I mean, if you insist. Kid to grown up car owner with the electric power bird by Marx. I know, I know, I talk about Marx way too much, but can you blame me? Marx had so much variety with their play sets back in the day. You had space themes, westerns, civil war sets, and even TV play sets like Johnny Tremaine and the Flintstones. However, when talking about toys back in the day, I always find myself asking the same question. Here's Cindy, and all of these toys are what we call... What were girls playing with? A few videos back, we discussed the bucket of unicorns by Sunny Days and how Arbyman sets aimed towards girls are kind of few and far between. However, that doesn't mean there wasn't an attempt to get at that market back in the day. During the 60s, Marx was having some trouble with their large, expensive place that's not selling as well. There was a steep competition between them and cheaper alternatives such as Timmy and MPC Toys, not to mention the cheapo figures being made in China at a fraction of the cost. To counter this, Marx decided to create a series of figures aimed towards a new audience. Girls. Marx unveiled campus cuties to the United States and England, although across the pond they were known as teenage cuties. I smell it. <laughs> You're making me. <laughs> Despite the awkward name, they sold quite well. As opposed to poseable dolls, campus cuties were cheaper and also gave young girls the opportunity to actually paint their toys. A whole new level of customization Barbie couldn't really give as well. The other popular series is the one we'll be looking at today, American Beauties, aka Bathing Beauties, AKA the figures that were made more so for the men who were designing them than the little girls they were supposed to be marketed towards. Hey y'all, Plastic Commander here with another spectacular Spectacular video. First off, happy boob day. Yay! Yes, it is boob day. I may have forgot Valentine's. I know I have never done a Thanksgiving special, but dang it, we're doing a boob day special. So to celebrate uh, boob day, and don't worry YouTube, the only boob that will be seen in this video is me. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the Mark's American Beauties. I'm going to save that video, or that figure, sorry, uh, for a little bit. But yeah, this line was created by Glenco Marks in the 1970s, and it was a um, direct response to the success of Campus Cuties. So we got this lady right here. I really don't know what the... Because I know with, like, regular army men, we got Bazooka Guy, Mortar Man, Rifleman. These are just ladies. These are just ladies. So, a lady in a bikini, number one in purple, I guess. So, um, yeah. These were made for children, believe it or not. So, Campus Cuties was quite tame. Uh, it was a really good depiction of, like, 
fashion and apparel of the time for young women. Uh, so that's why a lot of kids latched onto it because they were very trendy at the time. But these, like I said, these were totally designed for the men who were working the design room at Mark's. Then they were for young girls, uh, at least most of them. We have this one, um, Ballerina, which I actually quite like her. So this is one I quite like. Um, these figures were made in Mexico. These are reproductions. So pretty much any Mark's reproductions you come across most likely are from Mexico. We have another uh, kind of ballerina-like lady who I'm assuming is wearing a skin-tight leotard. But again, the detail, since this is Mark's, the detail is amazing. Um, this, uh, this video is uh, 18 and up, by the way. This is an 18 and up video, uh, by the way. Just a uh, heads up. But yeah, look at the facial features. We even see pupils in there. And even though these were made um, in a Mexican factory, they're still quite great. Like, look at that. You can even see the straps of her bikini. It, these are very nicely made figures. And they're very inappropriate for children. Like, for real. So, uh, this set, these figures also came in like a beach uh, kind of play set. Like, um, there were some little tiki huts and like beach towels and umbrellas that came with it. I've seen reproductions of that set online. I don't own it just because it's not really something I really particularly want to seek after. Uh, maybe if the price comes down reasonably well, I will. So again, looks like we have a maid. Oh my. Why? <laughs> Why? A maid. This is a maid outfit. I'm just now realizing. I've had these figures for like a year and I'm just now realizing that's a feather duster. This is a bit. Oh my God. It's a skippy maid outfit. This is horrible. These were made for children. We're kind of just flying through them, I know, but there's not much to say about these other than the molding is very nice. <laughs> um, this is... <laughs> I'm sorry. Just a bunch of guys at Mark's were just like, Hey, that Campus Cuties line did really well. Let's see if the boss man will make us... <laughs> will let us make some figures of our favorite Playboy models. Like, look at this. She's not even really wearing anything, honestly. Oh my goodness, these are awful. Um, so again, we got this one, another bikini. And, um, you know, for some reason, I'm actually more scared to show off the feet of these figures. I feel like, um, because if you're getting enjoyment out of the figures themselves, yeah, that's normal. But if you're getting enjoyment out of the feet specifically... We're going to have problems. You might want to just uh, unsubscribe from my channel. Just kidding. Stay subscribed. But you're still weird. Um, so, I do like these figures, though. I do like these. I think these are great molds. I think they are beautiful figures. Uh, this is definitely a set. In fact, when I got these, my girlfriend at the time, last year, also wanted a set of these. I remember she saw these and were like, I actually really want some of these for myself. <laughs> so, I don't know if she ever bought them or not. Uh, but anyway, so I, I wanted to put this figure off to the side, and I bring this figure up to friends a lot um, for a specific reason. And I'm not going to go in. You want to look a, a picture, like a 1080p photo of this figure up. Um, past the flower necklace, uh, let's just say she's not wearing a bra. <laughs> like, YouTube, so... YouTube, sorry. I, I know this video might get demonetized, but I, I, I get it. But still, again, these are nicely detailed figures. But yeah, I show this one off the friends all the time, just how outrageous it is. You can't really tell, but um, I wanted to do a Patreon where I went more in depth on these, but really, there's not much inappropriateness to get out of these other than the fact that these are toys made for children and they're really inappropriate for children but we're not even at the tip of the iceberg so 
Little Miss Bathing Beauty I just put in my mouth who I'm covering up. Um, so this figure specifically was made by Marks and it was a promotional gift given out to, I believe, mostly like um, other businessmen, other um, big names in the toy industry, friends of the CEO at the time. And uh, yeah, she is completely nude. Uh, not turn, uh, I guess I'll turn her around and just, yeah, completely all the way nude. <laughs> You can find this figure online for about $10. Uh, I, yeah, I paid $10 for this figure. Uh, call me a sip. Call me a sip. Whatever. I'll make it back on this video as long as I don't get demonetized. But I get a very nice mold. And I was looking at a website. Um, and I'll put a link to this website down below. And even they were just like, these are so outlandishly inappropriate for children. And my theory definitely is, just like how a couple years ago I reviewed the Marks Japanese soldiers, I, I think the guys who were designing these just thought it'd be really funny. Like, I, I think it was just like a joke for them. Because we talked about uh, racism in early Toy Army Men in the 50s and the 60s. And one of the things I touched upon was at the time people were just, a lot of people were just outlandishly racist. And it was not nearly as on the nose as today. Uh, a lot of racist people i won't say names i'm not getting political um they might be a little bit more subtle but back then it was just gloves off it was a different time but yeah these are another very racy set racy and again i i get more concerned showing off the feet so i'm just gonna there we go Put you over to the side. So the Marks Bathing Beauties. Honestly, I do recommend if you're a collector picking these up. You can find reproductions of these made in Mexico for like literally 15 bucks. Uh, I bought two sets. I bought one set in peach and one in purple. So I've shown them off. I showed them off in the toy collection as well. So, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. So Marks Bathing Beauties, I definitely recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm gonna try getting into bi-weekly uploads um, just to kind of keep the momentum going just a little bit better. Uh, also, thank you guys for 4,500. That is a really big number and a big accomplishment. So, and that's completely all y'all. So, thank you all so, so much. Uh, tune in soon. I'm actually gonna try to get a video out uh, this week. I know I um, want to start trying to do videos bi-weekly, but I kind of want to throw another one at y'all that I've been saving for a few uh, weeks now that I'm really excited to film. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'm the Plastic Commander. Bye. Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home.